Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Massey Art Studios. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Lee. And if this is your first time mm -hmm. visiting our channel, welcome, welcome. Um, please like and subscribe. It means the world to us. Uh, we have a very special episode uh, that is, uh, that's that's going to be happening right now. Every episode is special. Every episode is special, <laughs> actually. Yeah, exactly. But this one's really cool. Um, I'm going to be doing a triptych mm -hmm. um, with uh, metallics. You did, you picked these colors. I did. You've, you've seen many artists that have given you the inspiration oh for this many one. many artists. Right. Yeah, Cos Creations. Of course. Kathleen. We love um, you. Gail Burston. Gail Burston uh, we love. And, Gail, we love you too. Yes, and remember the, oh. Never gonna get it. I know, and, and she inspired me so much. Um, we will link it in the description we box. We will. So that you can see the three artists that inspired yes. Jeremy to pick these colors. Just remember, I'm blonde. So it's, <laughs> you know. Uh, so, um, but anyway, um, we would definitely like to thank Deborah mm. Smeaton. Deborah Smeaton, one of yes. our, one of our um, lovely subscribers who comes on every single one of mm -hmm. our premieres, always comments. She's the first to comment on every, on every video and sent us some really cool stuff. I know, I know. Beautiful. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. That looks like a split cup, or it's definitely a ring paw. Yes. Which is really lovely. Um, and she sent us some, some paperweights. Oh my God, the paperweights are so beautiful. Which are beautiful. really stunning so cool. using leftover paints. Yeah. Um, and a really lovely card. So Deborah, thank you so much. We appreciated everything that you sent. It was so yes. cool, thank you. Beautiful. We have a perfect place for this to go on our house. It's going, too. yeah, it's going on a wall. It so is. So thank you for it that. Is. Not on a... Bicycle, train, or plane. No, it's on, an on a wall. actual wall. <laughs> I was going to say it's going in the studio, but it's not. It's going on the wall. Um, so thank you. We really appreciate you, Deborah. Thank you so much. Yes. And you're doing a triptych. I'm just doing one canvas, it's, but it's going to be a 15 by 30. Mm -hmm. And because of the metallic colors, there's also some inspiration in there from our East Coast girlfriend, Cos Creations, yes. Kathleen, and, um, and some other artists. Yeah. Too. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I guess... Without further ado, uh -huh. um, why don't we go ahead and get this started? Do you want to go painting? Get this party stuff. Let's get painting. Yes, absolutely. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here, and I'm so ready to start this triptych. Um, as you can see, my canvas is all flooded and ready to go, and uh, it's the half black um, and half white. I got. We did the blick black and the blick white yeah correct mm -hmm. yes yeah and um, we're, we i will link the colors in the description box we are a blick affiliate you can yes. just click on that link and it'll straight you take you straight to the blick site awesome that's awesome um so the colors that we are using today are going to be the golden's iridescent pearl lovely the 24 karat um, americana deco art gold the artist loft copper the Arteza, which this is one of my favorite colors. I love this. But you never get the this. name of it right. Um, I know, but it's Pearl Deep Brown. And what do you call it? I call it chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like dark chocolate to me. Um, so that's our colors that we're using today. I got them all mixed. I have a question. Yes. Have you ever done a triptych before? I have never done a triptych before. This wow. is my first triptych. Okay, that's exciting. Yeah. yeah, so I'm really excited about this. I'm nervous, but I'm really excited about this. Um, so why don't we go ahead and get to painting? Okay guys, so I got my copper here. I think that's what I'm gonna start with. And let's go ahead and get this going. Now I start off of the canvas. Gonna come through right here, right here, right up to the end. Yay! Um, next, I think I'm gonna go with the non-chocolate brown, which is called Pearl <laughs> pearl Deep Brown. Um, I'm gonna go with that one next. Off the canvas, here we go. I'm trying to get that in the middle of the 
copper. I'm not having too much success with that. All right. Another cold day in the studio, which is why we're both sniffling again still. It's like 55, 55 degrees in here and we've got a space heater, but which we have to turn off when we film because yes. everyone can hear it in the background. Yeah. So, so, okay, so next is going to be the, I believe I'm gonna do the pearl, iridescent pearl white next. Now, I'm going to do the golds. <laughs> now, I know I'm gonna be a little scandalous by this, but I think I'm gonna put a little bit more of the chocolate brown, or the- The chocolate brown. Chocolate brown. <laughs> Not chocolate brown, <laughs> pearl deep brown by Arteza. <laughs> Just a little bit. Be very gentle with this. I just want something to break up that gold that's right on top. All right, just a little something, something. <sighs> okay, I got all my colors down. Now it's time for me to pull out my blow dryer and get started. Wow, <clears throat> this is really crazy. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to think about it, to be honest. I think I have a little bit too much paint right here, so I might have to blow a little bit of that out with the, the smaller blow dryer. Um, this corner over here, I'm loving, but it's like a lot of gold. And brown. And brown, but the copper is kind of coming through down here. Um, this got a little bit more of all the colors mm -hmm. that distinctly yeah. going out. Um, and what I actually really like is, is that this is kind of matching up a lot more here and here, you know, mm -hmm. it kind of looks like it was all meant to be one piece. Um, but like I said, I think I need to blow this out right here a little bit more, um, which I'm kind of nervous about cause I don't want it to get muddy. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of. I'm kind of pleased with it. You've got some really beautiful um, lacing and some cells in there too, because yeah. we're using all those metallics. Um, all right, guys, so I'm a little like, I, I love it, but there's a little bit of uh, the corner that has all the gold on it that I think I want to add just a little bit of copper and blow a little bit of copper into there because there's so much gold 
um, and I'll see what happens. Uh, so bear with me and let's see, let's see what happens with this. All right. I like it. Perfect. You didn't over blow it. Yeah. It looks great. Yeah, I'm really liking this now. I think it is kind of evening out. Evening out. Um, yeah, I mean, I could actually add a little bit of brown. No. It doesn't need any more brown. You put too much I'm brown on it on the first place. Kidding. I may at least start sweating. You weren't kidding at all. You were being serious. <laughs> all right, so this is it. This is the final result. I'm very, very happy with it. Um, I think it's a great piece. Uh, hope you guys like it. And uh, thanks for watching me. Now up next is gonna be Lee. I'm gonna clean up my edges, take you in for a close up. Perfect. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so thank you so much for watching Jeremy. He just poured three really cool pieces as part of a triptych. It was super metallic and very, very awesome. And it's been selling just as it's been sitting, so I can't wait for you to see the dried results of that one. Um, I've got a 15 by 30 inch, it's a one and a half inch deep gallery wrapped canvas by Jerry's Artorama, it's called The Edge. And um, I have, flooded my canvas in gold. Now this gold is the Blick Acrylic Gold. Um, these golds in these kind of big quart um, bottles are, are particularly inexpensive and they're great for like flood coats. I will link this one in the our description box. And I've also added some Vallejo Pearl Medium to my black. That's the only two things that I've done differently in this pour from what Jeremy had. The rest of the colors are exactly the same. Um, so as you can see, I've already flooded my canvas. This is a gold layer. Next, I'm going to um, take the cup and do probably two. And I'm going to do straight pours up and down the top and bottom of this canvas. So that is the plan. So. First off, I'm going to layer the cups. Now, I am actually going to use a fair amount of the black because I really want the black and the copper to be the predominant colors. So, Jeremy, yes. do not be stressed if I use a lot of black because it is going to be intentional. I am um, not stressed and gold too. All right. So, I'm going to pour these cups both at the same time. Um, and I will layer these in a, of a fashion. So I'm going to start with black in the bottom of the cup. That black with that pearl medium in it is just gorgeous. It's so cool, right? It's so shiny. Next in with a nice layer of copper. Some of the wonderful goldens next to it. 
It's an iridescent pearl. Right. Excuse my reach. Oh, there's my chocolate. I mean, <laughs> right. Pearl D. Brown. Right. By Arteza. Not too much of it, but I am going to do a healthy layer of the gold. Back to a nice layer of black. And some more of the copper. Now you said that you were going to pour down the canvas. Mm -hmm. Are you going to do like where it makes like the tiger stripes? Remember? No, that? no, no. I'm not going to do a ring pour. I'm going to do a straight pour. Okay. So um, I will show you momentarily. Oh my God, I'm so excited. All will be revealed. I'm going to find a little bit of pearl on the top. Okay. All right. Well, do you want me to show you exactly what I'm going to do? Absolutely. Then I will. I'm going to do it now for you. So I'm going to just make a little lip in this color. Let's get pouring. Okay, so this is my first cup poured. Um, I'm gonna tilt this one out just a little bit. So let's get tilting this one first. Let's open up some of those lines and see what's under here. What I'm gonna do next is I'm now gonna take this cup and I'm going to pour another straight cup along the top. And then I'm gonna play around with the composition. I might add a couple more cups, depending on if I need some more color. I don't like this area, for example. I don't have enough copper, copper running through it, even though I said I wanted more copper through it. But I do like the amount of black that I've got. So let's see what we get out of this cup first and then we can play around with it if we need to. Definitely more copper this time. Okay, let's stretch this one out.
Okay, right, before I do anything else, I'm going to add another cup. But I'm gonna do this off camera, so you don't have to see this, but this one's predominantly gonna be the black, the copper, and the gold. Okay, so here's another little layered cup. And I'm going to come in on this corner and this corner and see what I can do. Stretch that out. All right, folks, there we have it. Um, I layered two straight cups on this canvas, fixed a couple of edges that I really wanted to get a little bit more interest in. Um, I'm gonna keep the gold line down the middle. I kind of contemplated putting another color down the middle. Um, the only thing I would be prepared to do is like a really thin, thin layer of black. Um, but I see a lot of black in this piece. And I'm not, I'm gonna leave it exactly as it is. Um, I see a lot of the gold and the coppers in here, which is what I was really trying to achieve. And um, I do love the effect that you always get with the split cup. This is super metallic and it's super shiny. Um, so I'm gonna leave it exactly as it is. Um, I'm gonna clean up my edges and then Jeremy's gonna take you in for a close up. And there you have it, guys. And there you have it. Our metallic pores. You exhausted. I'm, you know what? After I'm doing feeling, three. After doing, no, I loved no. doing the three. I thought they were great. Um, I really love the metallics. Um, and as you can tell, because right. I use the metallics all the time. You pick the metallics a lot. I do, I right. pick the metallics a lot. Um, I really like them. Um, but uh, I loved the Dutch pour that I did. I thought it was great. Right. Um, You've not done a triptych I have before. not done a triptych before. Was it more yeah. or less challenging or did you just enjoy it the same? <sighs> you know, I, I enjoyed it the same. I didn't think it was like overwhelming. Right. I thought that it was a challenge, okay. but I loved it. I love a challenge. Okay. So, um, but I would definitely do one again. Right. And I learned a lot from doing this one about the edges and about like the blending and, right. um, and things like that. So, but I, I'm definitely going to do one again because I love these triptychs. I enjoyed my pour. So, um, I did the straight cup pours on yeah. that 15 by 30 inch canvas using all your metallics as well. I think in my head, I kept thinking, I just need another color, I need a color, another color. 
But I couldn't because we, mm. we always use the same colors in two pores. That's the whole point of this. Um, so I really like the piece that I came out with. Um, but um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Well, why don't we show them the dried results? Let's do that. <laughs> So, Jeremy, holding up your little triptych, because yes. there isn't enough room on the easel, tell me about this set of three pieces. Well, I, you know what? I wanted to use the metallics, and I got a little crazy on the first one, but I love it. Um, the middle one turned out really great, and the last one turned out really great. And I love the juxtaposition of the black and white. Um, I love that, that contrast. Um, you can really see the metallics popping out on this. Um, I, for my first triptych, I really enjoyed it. I think it's super successful. I agree with you. I do prefer the middle and then the far right canvas, yeah. but I like the left one and I like how you played with it and you added more copper to it. And yeah. It looks really great. No, I love it. Well done. Thank you. All right, Lee, um, tell me about this gorgeous metallic that you did. This is my rivers of gold. Um, yeah, I, I do. I do not dislike this final piece. I'm so glad I played with it. Added the copper in the corners. Um, when I st stood back, actually, it was when I was editing it. I realised that I had like really big blocky colours on the left hand side and not quite so much on the right. But I kind of ended up liking that, and I, I like how the composition came out. Um, and I was really contemplating about putting some colour down the middle on top of the black river, and then decided not to do it because there's so much colour elsewhere. So um, this was a straight pour onto this canvas when normally I would do rings. So it was it was like out of my comfort zone for sure. Colours definitely inspired by Kathleen, our mm. East Coast girlfriend. So thank you, love, um, for those kind of colour inspirations. But I really do enjoy this piece. I think it's lovely. I, I just love the shine of the copper and all the metallics in it. I think it's beautiful. Thank you, baby. All right, guys, there you have it for episode 49. I uh, hope that you really enjoyed it. Uh, and, you know, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Please. That's awesome. Um, thank you for watching with us. Bye. Lee, do you have anything that you would like to say? <laughs> I know I'm going to say more about episode 50. Okay. As long as he's not going to jump in. No, I won't. Do... All I'll okay. say is thank you to everyone for watching the collaboration with yeah. Fiona. Oh, yeah. Which was just this weekend just gone. Um, it was so much fun. So much it fun. It was a great Sunday because we had a yeah. couple of things drop. But that collaboration with Fiona was especially special to us. Mm -hmm. And then please, after what he's going to tell you about on Sunday of this week, we'll be dropping our very merry Christmas collab. Yes. And as you've already seen, that includes <gasps> Mina Villegas, Mixed Media Girl, and Sarah Mack yes. with the Massey Boys. And we started off calling that one the Mmm collab. Because it was Mina, Mac, Mixed Media Girl, and Massey Art Studio. Okay. Um, so, um, but then we changed it to a very Merry Christmas collab. Well, so please yeah, come back like and watch that, that too. But what, what's going on about the, the 50? What's going to be number 50? Oh my episode? gosh. Episode 50 is going to be a Who Did It Better? Uh -huh. Between us two, of course. Uh -huh. And it's going to be Leaky Cups. Ooh, I've never done a Leaky Cup before. He's never done a Leaky Cup. Uh -huh. This will be my third Leaky Cup. Right. Um, so excited about the colors right. that we're choosing. Well, you've so chosen excited about your everything. colors already. I'm still playing with mine, so we'll see what yes, happens. Yes, yes. Yeah. And um, and if you guys haven't uh, haven't known about this or are new to the, the channel, we do our premieres where you can actually chat with everybody who's watching at the mm -hmm. premiere. We do yeah. live uh, live chat, right. and it's so much fun yeah. to like talk to everybody. Yeah, there's normally like seventy odd people all kind yeah. of watching at the same time, commenting, being silly. Um, yeah. It's always a hell of a lot of fun and we sometimes get some of our favorite artists in there too exactly so cos creations mixed media girl marcy sarah, sarah mac, mac uh, yeah. mina mina Vallegas. yeah we'll pop in and out too and yeah. there's been some other people there as well I so know. you get to also chat to your favorite artists yeah. as well all right so wrapping this up Sorry. because this was a long a line, lot of chat. long winded um thanks again guys for watching we love you uh thanks for being with us and we'll see you on episode we'll see 50. You on episode 50. thanks guys have a great day bye so we set up the patreon account to allow a certain special few of you the opportunity to have a little bit of a closer look at the massey art studio and the different perks that the patreon gets are things like sneak peek pictures you get videos just for the Patreons. 
We do a live stream once a month. And at the top level, you also get to choose the colors for an actual episode that goes on the YouTube channel and also get a free 11 by 14 every single month. So we do want to say a very special thank you to mm. some of our awesome patrons, the Massey Posse, our MPs, and that's Jane Klein, Trisha West, Janice Pittman, Janice Swansea, and Leslie Bever, all at the gold level. So they're gold Massey pourers. And then also to Sparkle, Laurie, who you'll see on every one of our premieres. She's our platinum pourer. So thank you guys, we really appreciate you. And to everyone else that's listed below, thank you so much for being a part of the Massey Posse. We really, really appreciate your support and love. Thank you. Thanks guys.